Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix NVIDIA FPS drops and performance issues. Okay. If you find this video helpful, please do like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, if you're currently using the NVIDIA app or you have the NVIDIA graphics card, just go ahead and right click on a blank space right here on your screen and click on show more. Now in here, just go ahead and click on NVIDIA control panel. If you have the NVIDIA app right here in the uh, taskbar, right click on it and click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, if you don't have both options, just go ahead over to your search bar, type in NVIDIA. Okay. You have control panel here as well. Just click on it. Wait for it to load. Now, once it loads, go ahead over to manage 3D settings. Click on it. Now, go ahead and make sure that you are under global settings. Now, in here, let's just go ahead and find a shader cache size. Okay. Scroll down. There you go. Make sure for now that th this is set to disabled. Okay. Once done, hit on apply. Wait for it to load. Now, once that's done, close it. Go ahead and go to your search bar. Now type in NVIDIA once more. Open up the NVIDIA app. Okay. Now, since we are uh, gaming or we, we are having uh, FPS drops or performance issues, you should download, go to drivers right here. You should download the game ready driver. Okay. Click on it and hit on install. As you can see here, I'm using Studio Driver because I'm using my computer on both gaming and editing. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it like this. So once that's done, just close it and go ahead and restart your computer. Okay. Once your computer boots up, go ahead and go to your search bar, type in disk cleanup, like so. Open this up. Hit on OK. Make sure that Drive C is selected. Hit on OK. Wait for it to open, and once it's opened, click on Clean Up System Files. Okay, click on it, hit on OK. Now just wait for it to load. Now once it loads, go ahead and scroll down and make sure that DirectX Shader Cache is selected. Okay, once that's done, just hit on OK. It says here, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Just hit on Delete. Wait for it to finish. And once done, go back to the NVIDIA control panel. Okay. As you might remember, we have disabled the shader cache size. So let's go back to manage 3D settings, global settings, scroll down, shader cache size. I would highly recommend that uh, you would use 10 or 5 gig. But if you are low on uh, disk drive or storage, you can just go ahead and use driver default. Okay. I'm just going to use 10 gig right here because I have plenty of space. Okay. Hit on apply, wait for it, and once done, go ahead and close it, restart your computer once more, and after that, you're good to go. Well, I hope this video helps, and I'll see you in the next one.